Oh, you caught me. I was deep in thought, uh, very much like Kevin Rudd on Sunday. Uh, I'll show you the actual photo. Uh, there he is. Look at that. And it even says, Prime Minister, deep in thought. He was deep in thought. He probably had to hold that pose for about 45 minutes before someone finally took a photo and he prayed that it would end up in a newspaper somewhere. And lo and behold, it did. And maybe Kevin was thinking about the bionic eye. No, 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 no. Because he's such a visionary, Kevin Rudd, that in a group of 100 people, you would think that if someone said, let's make a bionic eye, there would be one person with a notebook that would, say, Google it, uh, and say, look, unfortunately someone else has actually thought of bionic eye. So instead of looking like a fool and coming out and saying, we should make a bionic eye, you would actually say, well, someone else has done it, so let's not. It's almost like akin to saying, why don't we have something on four wheels with an engine? We could call it an automobile. What, that, that's what we'll do. We'll make an automobile for 2020. What an imbecile. You know, he is some uh, small company in Sydney uh, that have already created a bionic eye. So Kevin's idea that he thought of on Sunday was thought about by a group of people in Australia and America probably 15 or 20 years ago. And not just thought about it, they actually acted upon it and have actually almost completed the creation of a bionic eye. But instead of Kevin Rudd being ridiculed, uh, for thinking up something that someone thought about 15 years ago and actually did something about, he's hailed as a, some sort of visionary because someone said, wow, he thought of bionic eye. My goodness, the weakening continues.